watch it up. Pew, 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 and make them wait for it, or should we give them details? I don't, all right, we, we'll do an introduction for those of us who, who are not familiar. I don't know who that is. Who doesn't know what Warp Records is? Come on. Yes, you do. Uh, That's let's good. talk a little bit about the culture, though, and why it would lead to what you're announcing. Sure. Um, well, Warp was a label that started in 1989, um, and it, it grew out of... Um, essentially the culture of people having home computers and being able to uh, create music in their bedrooms um, whereas before it was you know pretty closed book where you know you needed to have ex very expensive uh, studio space um, so the earliest warp artists were were making uh, music on you know spectrums and um, old synthesizers and sequences um, and in the years since then, we started a film company called Warp Films, um, which has won BAFTAs and you know several awards. Um, also does TV shows and things like uh, uh, This Is England and various things. Um, and we also released or, or started the first ever DRM-free download store um, before uh, iTunes and um, those guys uh, went DRM-free called Bleep which is now a physical and digital media um, seller, so it sells music from us and other labels and film and uh, you know, headphones and all kinds of things. Um, and I think it's fair to say that our, our roster of artists is, is you know, it's, we're pretty much synonymous with uh, technology, technologically enabled music and performance. Mm. Uh, so, so, yeah. I think that's probably a decent enough summary. Yeah, so I guess sort of being generally upsetting to formal uh, music business uh, is a good place to start something like an incubator. So tell us, what is this about? How, why is this happening? Sure. Well, uh, I, th I think uh, a lot of us at Warp, we feel that, you know, the, the, the nature of technology now and interactive arts, there's a lot of parallels between what's happening now in the kind of more art space and app space than there was in music, uh, you know, 22 years ago when, 23 years ago when Warp started, that people are able to, to make their own things in their bedrooms and, you know, there's super talented, you know, creative people um, that have, have a lot of, of vision for, for what could be, you know, new forms of amazing art, really. Mm -hmm. um, so what, we, what we're, we'd like to do with the incubator is, is basically be there for uh, you know, people that we feel have the potential and the ability to make you know, really amazing um, pieces of art. Mm -hmm. And I think the emphasis is on art, not necessarily tech, because I think one of the, one of the things that we, I hope we could bring to um, you know, any partnership is that focus on the end result and the quality of the end result and the marketing and the, um, and the, the distribution of that end result. Um, because obviously we're, we're focused on things being you know, really great. And uh, so, so yeah. And so is this basically a way of uh, also helping artists um, structure their development? So rather than, as you say, going for fame, fortune, signing the record deals, this kind of thing, but actually building on their knowledge and you've mm. got the entire walk back catalogue to look at how other artists have done things. They can learn mm. quite a lot from that. I, I hope so. And I, I think um, there's, a, there's a lot. For, for people working in this space, they're, you know, the best, biggest opportunities um, or, or a lot of the opportunities are based around one-off things, you know, getting funding to do one performance or, you know, put it into one gallery. And, and you know, we've got musicians on the label that we've worked with for 22 years, you know, and I, and I think the thing from our perspective is helping artists that quite often make quite weird things um, that, you know, don't necessarily fit into a particular box, mm -hmm. but helping people actually have that long-term vision and, and build a career, rather than you know just 
a one-off thing that, that gets you funding and maybe attention for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's that kind of label ethos that we started the film company with that was quite unusual in film at the time and now is, is becoming more, more known. And, uh, and really, it's just it's an exploration because no one knows how it, how it might turn out. You know, we don't know. Um, but I think the most important thing for us is that we're here. And, uh, you know, if there is, you know, a couple of projects or things that we feel can actually be something that could be developed into something that's going to appeal to our international audience and stand up, you know, as a piece of art with longevity and all of that, then it's an exciting opportunity to maybe help with some of our expertise and, and backing um, to people. Mm -hmm. And so how will you find the projects that will fit in with Warp for incubation? Um, well, uh, we're going to be working closely with Michaela, so Michaela can, uh, you know, obviously we're, we're here this weekend and, and taking a look at things. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't see this as like a hack day thing where it's like, right, this is a one day opportunity to, you know, for us, it's difficult to make something to the quality that it needs to be in, in a hack day, even though they're great, you know, they're amazing things. Um, and a lot of, I mean, we've done them in the past and really cool stuff's come out of them, but we don't want to approach this like a hack day. We want to approach this like something that's a lot uh, over a much longer period of time. Mm -hmm. so, um, so basically we're here to be contacted when, you know, a particular idea or a particular person, um, you know, looks like they're able to you know, and they fit with the warp ethos as well, because there's going to be tons of talented people in the room that might not be quite right for warp, you know, so mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of factors to consider. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'd hope that it's an exciting um, possibility um, and something that's relatively unique. Um, and, you know, and I'd hope that we're able to, to bring value to, to people that we work with, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so if people are unable to attend tonight, so they're not hearing this necessarily now, where can they find out some more information or at least find out who you end up working with as well? Because they might be artists that sure. we become fans of. <laughs> well, that's a very good point, actually. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll do that and uh, we'll, we'll put, um, I'll, I'll write something for our site as well and, and we'll definitely make sure that when, when pro you know, once once we find that project, which might take a week, it might take six months, it might take a year, but once we find that, that project, you know, we'll definitely be um, communicating that through, through our channels and uh, to our audience. Because really, it's about finding people that can be new members of the Warp, you know, Warp family, so it's all about uh, you know, communicating that and, and like, like I say, you know, trying to help people make careers rather than just one-off pieces of art. Mm -hmm. And so finally then, you obviously work with Warp. What's your favorite thing about working with this label in particular? I mean, you, <laughs> you pointed out that it's weird and we like weird and, you know, it's yeah. experimental and we love that, but for you? Yeah. Well, uh, I think that, you know, the, the best thing about working at Warp is working with the artists because, you know, they're, they're amazing and they make things because they have to make things. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that before, but you, you know, these, it, it's really quite inspiring for someone, you know, that, that isn't an artist directly. Uh, you know, they, they're, they're kind of, in the, it's a complete impulsive thing. They have to do it. It's like breathing or eating. Mm -hmm. And it's just really inspiring to be around people like that, you know, that are kind of different to the rest of us and like have a completely different outlook and quite often an utterly unique outlook. And uh, I'd say that's definitely the best thing about working there. Cool. Well, thank you very much for telling us all about it. No problem. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> a round of applause for Stephen, Stephen Hill from Warp Records.